Good this morning. We are live in studio with Peter Fagan, president of the Milwaukee Bucks. Certainly a lot of things are happening with the Bucks, a new arena, and the potential hiring of a new coach. And he's also delivering this weekend's commencement speech at UW-Milwaukee, which, Peter, I assure you, we will get to. But uh, <laughs> First of all. Let's start with the news that Mike Buttonholzer is the new head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Can you confirm that for us this morning? Uh, we'll have, I think we'll have a pretty exciting announcement later today. Come on, man. I'm telling you. We, <laughs> no, I'm honestly telling you the truth. We'll have an exciting announcement later today. But you can't confirm that it's Buttonholzer? No, we're actually preparing for uh, the next chapter, which will be very exciting. Well, so. it, um, sometimes in things like this, you have to wait for all the uh, T's to be crossed and I's to be dotted. What is it about a person like Mike Buttonholzer that the Bucks organization would like to have as a coach? Well, I think we follow the roadmap of, of we've certainly learned um, a lot of lessons over the three or four years. I think our owners are, again, so committed to, to winning and really putting out the best human capital possible. And I think when we look for a coach, when we look for players, when we look for chief financial officers, you really look for best of class. And I think uh, with our, our next move in, in, the, uh, in the coaching decision, you really get somebody you know, with, with a real track record of success. Do you have a naming rights sponsor for the arena, and what's your timeline for announcing it? Vince, another great question. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. We, we, are, we are finalizing, and it's our expectation that as we get into the summer, we will have a name for this arena, and uh, we will start marketing it. And uh, as we get into August, it will be prepared to open up. Okay, so you're obviously not ready to announce who that sponsor is. So I wanted to play Name That Arena Game with you. How does uh, Associated Bank Arena sound to you? I don't feel like playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a All good right. pun. Great, yeah. well, let's talk about your speech coming up at UWM. You've been asked to deliver the commencement speech twice, in fact. They've got two, two right. groups, right? Um, I was looking through some of the highlights. Oh, uh, look at you. That's a great picture. That's what you're going to talk about. That's I found one of the things that, that you want to focus on really interesting. You talk about being present, present in your moment and enjoying that moment for what it is and making it what it is. Yeah, I think, I think I really focused on guiding principles that were everything you can control. You know, and I come from a family of educators, and uh, I focused on everything they don't tell you at school, <laughs> uh, which, is a lot of, uh, which is a lot of what we deal with in running a business. And I think it's about really what you can control. I think it's, a, it's, it's literally about the way you treat other people. It's literally about setting ridiculously high standards. And it, it's really about being a great teammate. And... Uh, and being present and, and socially present, how to form relationships versus tweeting and texting and emailing each other. Yeah, that's interesting because you're going to be talking to a generation where that they've had that their whole lives, the social media. I also thought it was interesting where you said, don't be a jerk, be a nice person. Yeah, I think we all take it takes about as much energy. And I think if you really look through time, the great leaders and teammates of the world are, are not jerks, you know, and I don't think anybody in the world really enjoys uh, working with or for a jerk um, to get it done. And it's one of those simple things to be, be cognizant of, of being nice really helps, be, helps productivity. Well, Peter, thanks so much for sharing that. Good luck this weekend with UWM, and we look forward to that imminent announcement. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Very really exciting announcement. It. Thanks for your time.